It's a big week in the universe this week. There's a full moon in Pisces. Full moons are always really uh, emotional, sensitive times. And in Pisces, it's even more sensitive and emotional. So just be aware of people this week and, uh, you know, s stay clear of any arguments or, <laughs> or anybody who might be, you know. Full moons, though, are also good for cleansing all your crystals. In oh, your yeah. House and yeah use the energy wisely. Yeah. <laughs> um, and not a good time, probably, so much to do magic. But if you get a bowl of salt water uh, and put your crystals out in the, the lunar light, um, it's yeah. really good for them. It actually cleanses all your negative energies that's off a, them. So. That's a great yeah. idea. Mm. Um, Mercury finally goes into Virgo this week. Oh, so okay. it's in its own sign after it's been retrograde for a while and then in Leo. So it's a good time to just move things forward and get all kinds of thinking and communications yep. happening. Um, Venus will square Saturn. So there could be a few difficulties there with relationships. Mm. And the But the really big news as far as I'm concerned is the, the moon's nodes, which we call the axis of destiny, are shifting signs. Now these only shift every couple of years. So when they shift, it's it's a big deal. And it means that they're going into uh, Scorpio and Taurus now, and it will be where all the eclipses are for the next couple of years. Oh, right. So you might, if you're a Scorpio or Taurus, you might notice some of the, di <laughs> 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 you might notice that, that shift this week. Um, 